Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In this video, we will solve the truss using ETAPS 2016. In my previous video, I have shown you that how can I solve any brim using ETAPS. So in this video, we will truss, we will solve truss. So let's start. And before that, if you are new to my channel, you can subscribe to my channel if you think that this is helpful for you. And let's start. So uh, we'll solve this truss. Uh, to solve this truss, at first we have to open E tabs. Open E tabs. Then you have to go here. New model. From here we'll use save as user default setting what is that if you don't know you can see my previous video in the series okay so from here there's the main things we have to do so first of all we'll select grid only then we'll go on frame we're seeing that here there have one and two support and we'll consider it one and two grid line in x direction and one two three four five five grid line in y direction one two three four five in y direction and two in x direction sorry they have here we're seeing that they have um two in two grid in x direction we'll consider two grid in x direction and um one in y direction and also there have one two three four five so we'll consider that there have uh, ace to f its base and one two three so total four s try four s try building we'll consider so go here in x direction it's two to get in x direction and in y direction one and here in here for a story the story is for topical story height from here we'll see that for for four feet four feet and uh, the x direction grid is 12 feet so here four feet four feet and here the value of y direction is 12 feet and uh, as we are not considering y direction so this not fact what is the um, direction spacing of y direction so grid only okay So here we're um, seeing that it it will close that. Here we're seeing that uh, they are online. So first of all we have to select elevation, then click here one, and then apply. So here, here we're seeing that our total line one two three four five. They have total five line, and here two. First of all will draw that from ace to i select click here and from here we'll draw from that point to that point then uh, go outside and right click it will be out and then again will draw the A's to A so we'll draw A's to A that's why we have to go and here obviously we have to consider one thing that they have a every point 
there have a pin there have a pin in every point so um, this truss is working as different different point that's why we have to first of all click here then click here then click here then click here and again then click here and uh, we can directly click here for our vertical frame and right click ok then so from here we have done the triangle shape now we have to provide the internal frame so first of all we will get the point in F D B but in C F G will not get any point see here will not get any point for that click here select button then select the this frame and go to edit edit frames divide frames so here how will divide here how will divide this frame so we'll select that last point break at intersection with visible grid line one two three four arab three visible grid line in middle so apply okay now see that there have a joint point there have a joint point also there have a joint point now we'll draw our beam again from here to here again out right click here left click go here left click out right click here right click go right click and here left click then we have to draw the a s g a s g f e and d e line here a g seeing that our frame are ready so now we have to provide the support support where is that here is hinge support and here is roller support so already hinge is provided so we have to just click here select select and assign joint restraint roller apply now we have to provide um, we have to provide load so we are seeing that in F point and A point uh, they have 10 keep load so we can provide that here have 10 keep load assign join sorry assign frame load here as in as joint so here joint load as we have select that is a joint so we have to assign have join load force this is in x direction global x dead load 10 keep apply now we'll select that point also it is 10 keep in x direction so apply so they have 10 keep 10 keep load close or everything is that done but now our software don't know about that this frame is column beam what truss is don't know but we know that in our condition the truss have no moment no carry moment or share and there will be momentless for that select all truss we have selected all truss and go assign frame and release partially flexibility and from here we will release moment we will release moment apply ok now we are seeing that we have got uh, some point and this representing that this is a truss point and who is not getting any moment I mean we have removed every moment from that truss now click here for analysis before that you should 
check that analysis check the model select wall okay we're showing that tab no earning so click here and save it any name I think that it have solved now we will show the result at first we will see the support fx fy fz we will not sell, select fy because they have no force in y direction so apply here we will send that 20 10.73 and 19.37 close Um, before that we have to do uh, something that we have to select that again unlock select wall frame and from frame property modifier provide here zero and zero because of we will only analyze this sub uh, this frame because of this two point load if we do not remove the uh, mass and weight from it it will consider the self weight as it own load so now run analysis again so the Reaction load now we are seeing that they have the upward and downward direction at 16.67 and 16.67 both are same and it, it should be it should because we know that the summation of upward force and downward force are equal uh, zero so it should be equal and here uh, the horizontal force are 20 because they have two horizontal force 10 10 20 so your work is okay then we will see the we will see or axial first to see axial first I'll click here and then select axial first and show values apply here is our axial first and the red portion are showing compression and that portion are showing tension I think that is helpful for you and stay with me thank you thank you everyone as well as stay connected thank you